This woman brought her 11 year old daughter to the presbytery against the advice of the father. This 11 year old girl had not walked for three years. All of a sudden, she slept, woke up from that sleep, and began to run all over the place. Something is going to happen to somebody tonight that will cause testimonies to abandon your life. Because the power of God shall break every yoke surrounding your life. The Almighty God will come tonight and over answer your prayers. But in a merciless, violent way. Pray these very quick prayers. God arise! Waste every power assigned to waste my life. In the name of Jesus, command those powers to be wasted. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Masekata Nikaribo Sanda. Jesus, then we pray. Every root of hardship in my life. Can you shout this loud? Die! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray you root of my problems hear the word of the Lord dry up in the name of Jesus something is happening to somebody makapota setela kaya Jesus name we pray. Silence. Don't say anything now unless I ask you to talk. Just focus your attention on Jesus. He is here and is here to touch. He is here to heal, to save, and to deliver. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. Every heavy load placed on anybody's head from the coven. Mapipa le karibo satandaka, daribo shanta. Go back to your sender's man. In the name of Jesus. Every curse of infirmity be broken now in the name of Jesus. Every curse of infirmity be broken now in the name of Jesus. Every curse of infirmity be broken now in the name of Jesus. Every curse of infirmity be broken now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to count seven tonight. And things will begin to happen to several people. Those who are challenging your God. The power of God will fall upon you. And you will become a new person. Those who the enemy has taken your rightful position. The power of God will fall upon you. And your position shall be released within 48 hours. Those who are here. It will appear as if the more you pray the stronger the problem becomes. All of a sudden, the power of God will fall upon you. And that yoke will be broken completely. Those who have caging infirmity in your head, in your legs, in your womb, in your heart, at the count of seven dots, the power of God will fall upon you. And that yoke will be broken completely. Something is happening already. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, tonight is tonight. Jesus. Every power of infirmity in the head, in the eyes, in the throat, in the neck, in the reproductive organs, in the right leg, in the left leg, he heard the word of the Lord. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to count another seven. Anyone in this gathering now, and there are satanic introjects, objects planted into your body, they will jump out at the count of this seven. One, two, three, four. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this loud and clear. The powers are lasting my destiny. You are a liar. Death. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, of warfare from heaven lock up every native doctor divining against my life warrior angels from heaven lock up every native doctor divining against my life when you say that once, you will convert it to machine gun prayer. Lock them up. Lock them up. Lock them up. Open your mouth and pray like that. Something is happening. Somebody is breaking through. miracle has happened to one sister you overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of your testimony thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus now it is time to break some curses at this moment everybody should be standing nobody should sit everybody should remain standing 
Because we're going back years and years and years. You will open your mouth like fire and shout this loud. Every curse of failure at the edge of success. That is broken in Jesus' name. Now, with a voice that roars like thunder, say, Every curse of bad luck, break in the name of Jesus. Tonight is tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Every curse of loss. Every curse of loss. Every curse of lack. Curse of loss, every curse of lack. Pray in the name of Jesus. Yes. Damas, we're breaking. They're breaking. They're breaking tonight. Jesus' name we pray. Every cause of financial failure. Pray in the name of Jesus. Ma pota se piani katanda raba. Ribo saponda kaya boshenta raba santa. name we pray now you will now bind any demon attached to any curse can you say this after me loud and clear every demonic power assigned to any curse surely my life can you say that loud And I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and bind them and cast them out. Bind them and cast them out in Jesus' name. We pray. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you once again. Lay your hands upon us tonight. Open our understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's take our Bibles, please. Tonight. We are looking at what I call curse not my anointed. Curse not my anointed. In Genesis chapter 12, Genesis chapter 12, I begin to read from verse 1. Sisters, what is our topic tonight? Brothers, 
Genesis chapter 12. Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. Close your eyes now. Say this violently and loudly. I am not for curses. I am for blessings. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare. name we pray. Now listen very carefully. Here you see the promise of God to Abraham. And we are the seed of Abraham. He said, he that cursed thee is cursed. He that blessed thee is blessed. God has always consistently warned that no one should mess about with his people. All those who rose against God's people, they have been ruined by God. So it's a dangerous thing to attack a true child of God. God blessed Laban Why? Jacob was with him. God blessed Potiphar. Why? Joseph was with him. God blessed Egypt. Why? Because Joseph was there. Joseph was the first person to store grains in pyramid form. It was during the time of Joseph that the pyramid technology of Egypt started. Joseph started the first bank in Egypt. He started the first warehouse for food in Egypt. He was the first economic administrator in Egypt. The principle is loud and clear. If you bless God's people, you will be blessed. But if you decide to curse them, the person too will be cursed. Egypt was the envy of the world before. No nation could touch her for wealth, for military power, for agriculture, or for science. In architecture too, Egypt had no rival. At that time, Egypt was a powerful nation on earth. But she made a mistake. They oppressed the Jews. Egypt is now backward. Relying on others and filled with just memories of the past. The Roman Empire maltreated the Jews with iron fists. Where is that Roman Empire today? It's gone. I want you to understand this, beloved. That this thing that God told Abraham, cursed be he that cursed be, is relevant to our lives today. Emperor Nero fought against Christianity. He died a miserable death. Today the gospel is alive and strong. There was one Frenchman called Voltaire who boasted that he would devote his energy to the destruction of Bibles. He died. Printing was invented. A Christian press bought his house. And now they are printing Bibles from there. Because that promise is strong. That touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Curse not God's people. Because if you curse them, there will be a backfiring effect. I'm praying for somebody. Any curse they are issuing against you from the cold. Let the curse back fire on the home. In the name of Jesus, let that heaven roar like thunder. Let it roar like thunder. In Psalm 
31 verse 20. Psalm 31 verse 20. It says this. Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in the pavilion from the strife of tongues. He will keep us in his pavilion from the strife of tongues. The strife of tongues is such a powerful force that God has to hide his children in the pavilion to prevent them from being hurt. The most dangerous war that is going on around men is the war of words. 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 Even if men will bomb each other, it is the strife of tongues that will ignite it. What do we mean by this strife of tongues? The strife of tongues is curses in all its ramifications. Unfortunately, there is so much curses running around in our environment. Some have even turned into a plaything. Satan and his agents are always very quick and very ready to curse people. The trouble is that if you don't stop it, it will work. When there is a quarrel and two people begin to exchange curses and abuses, it looks very simple, but it's doing a lot of havoc, a lot of harm. The curse issued by the tongue, the power and the potency of that curse depends on the spiritual quality of the person who is saying it. This is what the Bible is talking about when it talks about the strife of tongues. This is a very, very serious matter. I prayed for a sister many years ago as far away as a place called France. And when the prayer went to a stage, I asked her to go and bring all the fetish material she had. She brought them out. They sent them to her from Nigeria. She now brought out a particular one. She said, this is the most powerful one. I said, what do you use it for? She said, if somebody has offended me, I will just bite it. Then I will go and look for the person's trouble. Whatever the person says to me will happen to them with that strange power that she carried. I'm praying for somebody today. Anyone who has swallowed anything, have chewed anything, have licked anything, have swallowed anything to issue curses against you, let the curses by fire sevenfold. suffering now because of the curses your husband issued on you. Some are suffering now because of the curses your wife put on you when you were quarreling. You set to the quarrel, alright, but you didn't break the curses. Some children are suffering now because of the curses your parents put on you. You begged them and apologized, but you didn't break the curse. This is a very, very serious matter. And I want you to understand this very well. I traveled on a journey many years ago when I was working in the civil service. And they gave me a driver to take me there. My practice every night was this. Anywhere I got to, all of us would pray at 9 o'clock together. Normally all the drivers I take, no matter their religion, they join the prayers. If even to be saying just Amen, Amen, Amen. But as this particular driver, as fat as the prayers were, not a word. In fact, he consciously glued his lips together. Had, look at him. What's wrong with this man? So after the prayer meeting, he said, Mr. Man, you are not saying amen. Ah, says sir, if I open that mouth to say amen, say somebody will carry whip and begin to beat me. But if I don't say amen and I keep quiet, Nobody touches me. He said, eh? If you say amen to prayer, somebody will beat you. If you don't say amen to prayer, nobody beats you. So when did that start? So it started the day I offended my wife. And the wife said, Heaven will never answer your prayer. And if you say you want to pray, they will beat you. 
And from that day, any time prayer was going on, if he dared to open his mouth, they would beat him up. There are powers. In these cases, we think we are playing with. So that's why I want to pray for somebody. I don't know who the person is. All the playful curses. It was by play. But the devil has backed it up. That has been working against that person. I break it in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus. Listen, brother. All the angry exchanges. When people are angry and they are talking against each other. Bad word. Planned or unplanned. Always comes out. To do havoc. This is one reason you must avoid going into arguments against men of God. So I don't get them angry. And anyone who is filled with the Holy Ghost should avoid hot verbal exchanges. Because that man filled with the Holy Ghost who is exchanging, asking the argument of hot verbal exchange with somebody. What he is saying will surely come to pass. And by the time you start cancelling it, it might have been too late. If God has brought you to the mantle of fire and miracles ministry, woe befalls any dark power that wants to be toying around with you. <laughs> Amen. The mantle of fire and miracles ministry does not go out to look for people's trouble. But if you come and look for their trouble, when they start, God have mercy on that person. And that is the truth. So anyone who thinks he's attacking the mountain of fire, they're just wasting their time. Because by the time the God of mountain of fire will start, they will regret that they were ever born. So if they are harassing your life, God has brought you here. As far as you pray the prayers tonight, all those congregation of evil men assigned to curse you, hired to curse you, they shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, let that heaven rule like thunder. A woman from this church bought a land and traveled abroad. By the time she came back, some people were on that land and they were building on that land. And so when she came there, I said, ah, This is my land now. I brought out the document. It's my land. The people said, no, we don't care whether it's your land or not. Our guys said we should be there. And they were so jamming, guiding the bricklayers. So the woman said, ah, I want you, this is my land. They didn't answer her. So she headed back to her car. As she was going to her car, one of the soldiers saw our logo on a handbag. And he called the attention, the attention of the people. So to that woman. The mountain of fire. I said, yeah, yeah. yeah, so? So this man went to a car, brought out a bottle of anointing oil, moved close to that land, and poured it down. That by this anointing, I evacuated you from my land. And she entered that car and went away. She wouldn't have gone five minutes. The one who carried the gun there said, My stomach, my stomach, my stomach. He started rolling on the floor. He fell down. Before you could say Jesus is Lord, he was dead. The others fled. That's what happens when you try to fight against the God of Mountain of Fire and Miracles Mission, or against a member of the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Mission, no matter who you are or where you are coming from. There is also something, beloved, called incantations. An incantation is an invitation to demonic forces to do a work in a person's life. It's a strife of tongues by people who have yielded their tongues to the devil and they are technically issuing curses against you. Anyone tonight, even if it's not you, if it's your family member, and somebody has used incantation against your life, sevenfold. 
I command the incantation to backfire. In the name of Jesus, let her ever roar like thunder. There's another form of curses. We call them evil report. Evil report. They take your case. This native doctor, they report you all over the place. Take your case to evil prophets. They take your case to occulting people. They open the case file for the person there to make the case worse now. Somebody will just be in his office. A native doctor will be sending them text messages. What an insult. Send text messages. Say, so, well, if you don't bring this, if you don't bring that, if you don't bring that, this is what will happen. And the people will begin to shake. When such things get to my attention, I said, look, just forward his text back to him. And then write below it, back to the sender. Sevenfold, the name of Jesus. Those who have done it, nobody replied their text again. I'm praying for somebody. Any native doctor issue curses against you shall be completely disgraced in the name of Jesus. Jesus, all eyes closed. If you are not born again, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. Just say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and everyone at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life. And I'll guess with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Arrows of witchcraft curses. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. loud and clear. Say, my enemies shall perish in the Red Sea. Can you shout it loud? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. This prayer is going to travel out of Lagos seriously now. Powers! I 
God to curse me. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening to somebody. Masapeli katenda ya boshente raba santa. Aha, 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 aha. Powers higher to curse me. You are a liar. Stretch your right hand. Father, this hands that are stretched here, let this hand become the hand of healing, the hands of deliverance, the hands of power, the hands of glory. Let this hands become divine medication. In the name of Jesus, on smiting the infirmity, let them go right back to the ascenders. In the name of Jesus, uh, if you have any infirmity in your body, smite the place 21 times and you will be saying go back to your senders go back to your senders let's go smite is what Louder, louder. Do it well, do it well. Something is happening over there. You must go. Amen. Check your body now. The Lord has healed so many people. Check your body now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you for your children who have joined this great physician hour. Let your mercy and grace overshadow their lives. Lay your hands of fire and power upon them. Move them forward in a new way in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let us share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely.
goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven miracle receiving area. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 I believe that you've been blessed by the program. Kindly join us this next Saturday for the Great Physician Hour at 2130 WAT. Ministering Dr. D.K. Olukoya.